ko yan, sorry. Today, ito yung pinaka- I think so. It's the biggest. It's the most challenging. Uh, epic in scale. I'm very excited. Kailan ang start ng ano? Um, right now, I'm still finishing the script. Kasi ako rin po yung writer. Uh, nangangalahati na po ako. So, tignan natin. Siguro, uh, uh, hopefully, this year pa rin mag start. How, how different is this from the three... Uh, may tatlo na kasing nauna, dalawang Jano at saka yung Efren Reyes Sr. So, anong kaibahan mo? Um, yung mga, sige, let's start with the Jano Gibbs version. Uh, it's more of on the comedy side. Meron pa rin naman comedic elements itong reimagining ko ng Penduko. Pero I want, I want Penduko to look cool sa mga millennials especially. Mm -hmm. Baga, I want the millennial, the Filipino millennials to see Penduko as a character na hindi mo siya pagtatawanan lang. Hahangaan mo siya the same way that we uh, look up to all these superheroes na galing sa ibang bansa. Ganun ang vision ko for Penduko. To just cut it short for a while, this Penduko movie is a project of Viva Films and Epic Studios, produced by Epic Studios, who's also a partner of Signal. Okay? We'll bring in a new director also. He's the action director. IP, IK. Yeah. Uh, IK. 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 Um, I was very active with the Center for Kapampangan Studies sa Pampanga. Pero yes, naging NCCA din ako sa Cinema Committee. Um, yun, mostly ang ginagawa ko na talaga gumagawa ng anything Kapampangan. Yung know, short films, music videos. Bye, Bas. Bye, Bas. So, we'll start the questions first for now because I'm sure you want to know already. Now, some of you have been whispering. <laughs> we'll show you a quick training. Yay! Finally. Hello, Pedro. Iba ng pangalan mo ngayon, Pedro, no? Hey, da. Hi, everybody. Maganda dulo po. How does it feel? How does it feel? Wow. Finally, it's <laughs> been announced. Na, diba? Okay, very exciting. I mean, the three of us have been very, very eager to start. And we're very excited to start. No? Pedro Pinduco. I mean, Derek Sunny. Uh, we've been training for, I think, two months now. No? We have fight scenes, namin, physical conditioning. So, uh, exciting. How was the training so far? How was the training? Oh, no man, you know, I'm very excited to work with Derek Sunny because he has something very, very new to put on the plate, kubaga. Um, new for me, no? Because uh, uh, as we all know, if you guys didn't know yet, uh, Derek Sunny is a Hollywood stunt director, stunt man. He's been uh, around, he's been in Power Rangers, he's done a lot of big Hollywood films. It's very nice for him to come here and give a new twist to, to Philippines, Philippine cinema, kubaga. Direk Sani, kamusta si, ano po, si Mateo, being a uh, Pindu. I love working with Mateo. Love you too, Direk. <laughs> when it comes to training, parang talagang focus siya sa sa trabaho ka, sa training niya. Yung first, I was thinking parang he's really strong talaga. Parang even just, we had to work on yung mga techniques sa cinema, cinematic fighting kasi he has the Yung fighting spirit talaga. Parang even in just uh, certain movements that he does. My experience is often when may actors uh, uh, who do action, parang they focus solely lang sa action. They forget about emotional content. Pero si Mateo, he's a natural with it. Parang sabi ko, he's not always fighting just to be mad. Diba? You, should, you should also feel that your performance in the physical part matches your acting like that as a person. Uh, so Theo, I, 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 I look forward to training with him. But he's so busy with all these other things. I'm with you. No, I just finished. Uh, I, I just graduated airborne uh, in the Philippine Army. So I excused myself. I said, okay, Direk, Direk, at least for now three weeks, I'll, I'll, get, I'll go uh, have myself physically conditioned. So, yun. 
We jump out of planes now, then. <laughs> so now, ito, balik kami ang ensayo for, for the film. Madaya ka naman na lang. Kasi nung tinatanong ka namin before, parang hindi ayaw pa magsalita eh, di ba? By the time, by the time. Pero parang ikaw na yung kinukonsider. Kailangan oh. mo na lang. Kailangan ba yun ba? Few... Few months ago. Yes, few months ago. We were not announcing it. Yeah, a few months ago. That's where we started already with Direk Sani. Actually, few months ago. Yeah, a few months ago. And si Direk naman, we just talked on the phone two weeks ago yata eh. Phone. And then nagkita lang kami sa banyo kanina. Hindi ba niya ako makilala kanina? Oo, eh. Sabi ko gano'n, bro, kumusta? First time lang kayo nag-meet now. Yes po, yes po. Ah, talaga. Ang maglaking advantage kasi direct, di ba? Kasi si Mateo kasi is parang physically fit to for the role. Kasi because of his being athletic, tapos yung naging training mo sa military, di ba? So, ang laking bagay. So, yung fight instructor, di ba? I'll call you direct as well. Di ba yung mga ano ni Mateo, malaking advantage because Absolutely. of his training, Absolutely. di ba? Absolutely. So, mas madali kaysa yung totally raw? Um, depende po. Kasi, di ba, uh, often times I, I ask to train uh, sa mga actors kung meron silang background ng martial arts. Pero they come at it with a martial arts mentality. And it's, I actually have to untrain them to think that way sa mm -hmm. cinematic fighting. <coughs> But uh, Mateo, I think he really encompasses yung, yung artistic sense na alam niya parang it's not a martial arts fight. Parang it's really for a martial arts or uh, parang sa action movie uh, I don't want to label it a martial art talaga. Pero yung training niya sa military gives him the focus, gives him the commitment. Parang sa, sa role niya, that uh, I don't have to worry about is he really going to commit? Say, I don't know that he's going to really be, you know, bringing something to the table different from anybody else that might have done better before. Direct, ano unang mo naging reaction when you were chosen by Viva na you're going to direct the Mateo for this movie? Like, excited ako kasi uh, yun nga hili ko talaga yung Pinoy folklore and uh, any chance that I could get para magawa yung ganun on a bigger scale, sa mas epic na scale, uh, kukunin ko. In fact, they ask me kung gusto ko ba daw gawin yung pendu ko. And talaga sabi ko kay boss, yung talaga, yes, please, sack ko. Uh, and it's, it's very nice na existing character na siya. You don't, you don't build from scratch. Meron kang lore, yung katalag na lore na, na paggagamitan. So, ayun, na-excite ako na natakot kasi I'm sure it's gonna be a very, uh, Parang for me, make or break moment siya sa akin as a filmmaker. Um, and you know, before this, siguro the, the yung pinakamalapit na nagawa ko na is horror film na merong, merong VFX, merong action, merong harness, mga ganun. So, pero I think, uh, kung parang inisip ko, kung hindi ko pa gagawin ito, ito yung, yung ganito ngayon, parang kailan pa ako magkaka-chance. So talagang kinuha ko yung opportunity. Tapos regarding naman kay Mateo, Alam ko na yun, ah, magaling yun sa suntukan, <laughs> sa action, action. So, as writer, nag -e enjoy ako kasi hindi, hindi yung, yung process ko, hindi yung parang kaya kaya gawin ng artista to. Hindi ganun eh, kasi alam ko kaya niyang gawin. Of course, with the help of, ano, of Sunny. So, that's, uh, that's what's nice kapag yung, yung actor, yung, uh, very physically uh, appropriate para sa material. I enjoy it in writing, so don't worry about it. What are you going to do? Can I ask you a question first? Yes. What's your initial reaction when you were first chosen? Did you go to Canada? Honestly, it was very overwhelming. But it's a dream come true because I've always wanted to do something that involves action. But this is not just an ordinary action film. This represents our culture. As being Filipino, and we practiced a uh, Filipino martial arts with uh, with Rex Sani. So it's nice to showcase that that Filipino culture, you know, that Filipino tradition. You know, why why use a different martial art in a Philippine movie? You know, let's use our own and represent, show the world how how uh, how amazing our, our tradition and culture is. Pero may napanood ka ba na yung famous na pero channel games, channel games, whatever. This is parang may pagka comedy sa don. Dito ba direct? papasok din yung comedy meron din, meron din. Yeah. hindi natin matatanggal yun kay Pinto mm -hmm. may, may mag-iwakiling character 
Kasi before we went ah, J4, si si Nadine before eh, sabi parang may part. Meron ba? Wala. Ilan ang love interest ni Pindu? Wala, wala ang love interest. Ah, Mas focus tayo dun sa action adventure. Okay. Pero marami po nga na ibang characters, iba iba yung dynamics with Pindu po. So, we'll reveal in time. Siguro part 2 yan. Mateo, how do you how do you visual? Ano po yun? I met her recently dito. Siya yung nag-hi sa akin talaga. Parang she's interested to work with me. At nakikita ko rin naman siya. Sa mga movies siya kasi TV. I'm very willing to work with her. Ano niya, sumasayaw, kumakanta, kumakate. Very down to earth. So, kasi if we if we trace the history of Pedro Pinduco, puro beautiful faces and from Edna Luna to Lopisky, Janja. The producer Vincent Rosario. Okay, I mean, ano ba? May wish list ako si na living lady. Kung lahat sa living lady dito. Ah, so nalal. ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。ああ、そうなんだ。